Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. Now, before we continue with the new letter, which is capital I, we are going to shake all of our body from that laziness, from that ugly laziness. De esta flojera tan fea, no la vamos a quitar. So, at the count of three, all of you, my children, you are going to stand up and you are going to shake all of your body, including your head. Remember, this is for get rid of that ugly laziness. Para deshacernos de esa flojera tan fea. So, at the count of three. One, two, three. Let's start. Shake all of your body. Shake your arms. Shake your hands. Shake your head. Shake your hair. Shake your stomach. Shake your chest. Shake your legs. Your feet. Your bumps. All of it. Ready? No more laziness. Ya no hay flojera? Very good. So, have a seat, my children. Now, today, like I mentioned it, we are going to continue with the new letter, which was capital I. Remember, whenever we pinch ourselves or whenever something hurts, cuando algo nos duele, we say I. That's the name of the new letter. So, remember also something that is very important. Remember, we started with the letters. And how many vowels are they? They are five. Starting with the letter A, the letter E, the letter I, the letter O, and finishing with the letter U. We already worked on the first two. Ya trabajamos con las dos primeras, which were letter A, letter E. We are going to continue with the letter I in capital form. Remember all of the letters. Todas las letras have two forms. Capital, which are mayúsculas, and small letters, which are minúsculas. Today, we're going to continue with the capital I. Now, it's very important that you recognize how do we write it. ¿Cómo lo escribimos? Remember, we require three lines. One, one up. Necesitamos tres líneas para trazar nuestra letra I. One up, one in the middle, and finally, one at the end. So as you can see, three lines to create capital I. Now, do you remember, my children, what was the object that we saw yesterday using this letter? We saw the Indian. Now, what is an Indian? Remember, an Indian, it's a person that uses a bandana here around her, around her forehead Utiliza un paliacate alrededor de la frente and make noises. When they, are, when they are dancing, when they are singing, they make noises like... Okay, those are Indians. Now, another object that uses capital I is an igloo. Okay, this is an igloo. And what is an igloo? I'm going to tell you. The igloo is a house for the penguins. Now, penguins, those are animals that are completely black and her tummy, su pancita, is color white. Those are the penguins. Now, penguins, they tend to walk like this. So, please, once again, stand up, all of you up, because we're going to start down, we're going to start walking Caminando like penguins at the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, walking like the penguins. 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 Okay, <laughs> very good. Now, another interesting characteristic about the penguins is that they live in cold areas, in areas donde hace mucho frío. Okay, so if we go to a place that is very cold, we're going to be like this. But penguins, no, penguins don't feel cold because they are get used to, están acostumbrados a vivir en el frío, por eso no están como nosotros. They don't shake because they, uh, they are used to live in the cold. Now, the house of the penguins, they live in the igloo. This object is called an igloo. An igloo begins with the capital I. So for this, please repeat after me, my children. 
capital I igloo one more time with all of your energy and very very loud igloo very good and remember the igloo is the house for the penguins now the activity of today my children is part once again of your teddy book and it's located right here as you can see here we have capital I which we have to trace it using our pencil remember to grab it properly all of these letters are invisible in order to become them visible para que sean visibles las tenemos que remarcar now once again while you are tracing it's very important that you repeat the name of the letter capital I capital I capital I once you have finished tracing all of the letters, then you can continue painting your own igloo. Now, because we are in the cold, in cold areas, you can paint, if you want, you can paint it all of it with color blue. But if you want to use more colors, there is no problem. You can use as many as you want. So that's it for today, my children. I hope that you have an excellent day. Remember, try to practice uh, as much as you can all of the letters, letter A, letter E, letter I, including the objects, okay? In that way, in that order, it's going to be very difficult that you forget them, okay? So, have an excellent day. Take care. Goodbye.